What's up, YouTube? Well, it's time for part two of uh, the Shelter Logic Garage in a Box install. Remember, I promised you some special guests today, and guess who's with me? The Come Green down. Dream Project. Come on. What? What? Can you believe that? <laughs> we've got we've got a YouTube royalty here with us today. <laughs> so, what do you think, Jim? Are you excited about getting on this garage? I can't wait to get out of this garage. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I heard there's some people up in the St. David area doing it up. So I'm figuring McNeil's got to be down here to represent. Yeah, we got to represent, right? <laughs> High five. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? Oh, I'm ready. You ready? Ready? Work hard? Yup. All good. right, well, with any, without any further ado, let's get on it. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. Right, so here we're just sorting out the pieces and going over our checklist and making sure we got everything. I'm going to sort out all these doggone screws right here. I had to divide them into two different bowls. Then you start laying out your pieces. As you can see, we're going to do here in a second. Start laying out your first end wall. And then, um, and then you just kind of go on from there. Get all the pieces uh, lined up. And then... Once you get them all lined up and uh, loosely screwed together, then you can start setting it up. All right, well, as you can see, we got all the hoops together. Jim's uh, over there starting to lay out the uh, struts that go across, whatever you want to call them. But when you do put this together, they uh, put all the bolts in the same bag and they're literally like uh, about a, two millimeters difference or something in length. So you want to pay attention to that. I don't know why they didn't just make them all the same length bolts, but all right, we're getting ready to set up the first two. So as you can see right here, we start standing up the first two and uh, we loosely fit those together. And then after that, it's just rinse and repeat and go all the way to the end until you get to the uh, final bolt. And then there you have your frame. Jim's getting the last bolt in the roof. Well, as you can tell, we got the structure up, sort of. <laughs> We put them uh, those 30 inch anchors down. I did uh, one and a half, and I think Jim, you did what, four and a half? Who's counting? <laughs> I'm counting because you did all the hard work over there. <laughs> Can't accuse him of being lazy, I tell you what. I watch him in the mornings on his, uh, every morning at seven o'clock, he's got a new video up, him and Jessica. And that guy's jumping around, shadow boxing, <laughs> singing. I just like, ah, oh, this is too much for me. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> All right, well, let's get back to work. finished product somewhat so we got the way this outer shell wraps around the um, the framing it's got uh, like these um, flat nylon straps go all the way to the bottom here and they got a little ratchet strap you tighten them down forms a tight seal <clears throat> over the end of the uh, framing and then the the, the end flaps kind of do the same thing, but on the inside. 
as you can see we got these little ratchets down here as well and then Jim and I put these anchors in well mostly Jim and they give you these little cables to tie around there but what I did instead was look at that you could play a tune on there knowing we have these high winds out in the desert so there's a total of six tie downs on each side or well six tie downs all together three on each side so once you get the outer shell on there and you've got these long tubes that run along the bottom there and uh you got these t connections right here so what you do is install all of them loosely and the tubes go through uh kind of like a big long belt loop on the bottom of the outer shell and what you do is you take your foot or at least one person take your foot and push down on these t-posts to create tension in the outer wall while someone else tightens the bolts and so you just repeat that all the way on down the line here and you eventually end up with a nice tight shell and that's uh what we had to do to finish it oh and on the end on the end uh walls they each have these little holes in here you got to remove the pole and then re you know put the flap over it and the tube goes through the flap and that's what holds it all in tight it does that in all three locations here So that's it. I think we're about done. We're about to wrap this thing up. Oh, and stay tuned for part three. Yes, there's going to be a part three. We're going to put some finishing touches on this thing and add some upgrades. Well, that's it. As you can tell, YouTube, we got it up. Me and the Green Dream Project. We're the Green Dream Project. You want to thank you. <laughs> Jill's Homestead Experience and the Arizona Homestead Project. <laughs> Between the three of us, four of us, but the three channels, we got it all done. <laughs> And uh, we appreciate you watching, but I tell you what, that thing, those screws going into the ground, those were a bear, weren't they? Yeah, it's pretty tough, those auger, uh, auger bits. You know, so we got like rocky ground here and stuff. But... <laughs> yeah, it definitely didn't take two and a half hours, but uh, it's well worth it. It's up. I got a little bit of um, things to do to it. I uh, want to anchor these poles a little bit better than they are, so we don't have any problems when the winds come. That's it for this time, and we will see you soon. See ya. <laughs>